Well, hello there, my fellow A standards. Welcome back to my channel and to a brand new Fallout 76 video. So, in this video, I will be showing you how you could farm a lot of gold bullion easily in Fallout 76. So, before we start, make sure to sub with the notification on to never miss a video from now on. And without further ado, let us start this video. So, there are three main ways of farming gold bullions in Fallout 76. You could get some via the scoreboard which is not really a viable way i mean you could get like 100 to 200 pieces at most from the whole scoreboard itself but we're mainly gonna focus on farming it with events and buying it now you might be asking but it's fucking expensive it's not worth it well yes but i'm gonna teach you a method so that you could make a lot of caps so that then you could actually buy gold bullions so first let's talk about the events you see there are two types of public events in fall 76 these ones that they don't pay treasury notes you see whenever you finish them they'll pay you a legendary weapon or a legendary armor but they will not pay you any treasury notes and their differences with the other public events is that they don't have any marks on them and when you want to fast travel to them you need to pay caps however these ones they have that mark on them and you can fast travel to them without paying any caps so you want to do these not the other ones now these public events come in four difficulties easy medium hard and very hard we want to focus on hard and very hard now trust me doing the hard and the very hard ones is actually easier than doing the easier one you'll see why and if you look closer it says type we're mostly gonna focus on the boss ones, boss and defense. These two are the easier of the types. Now, in my opinion, three of the best public events in Fallout are a Colossal Problem, Scorch Earth, and Radiant Sharon Mode. Now, the Colossal Problem is the only very hard public event in Fallout that whenever you finish it, it will pay you 8 treasury notes. And it's actually the easiest event compared to the others. You see, if you play on a public server, this is actually a very rare event. So whenever it triggers, all the high level players will join that event immediately. There will be like 10, 15 players in there trying to kill this asshole. So what you need to do, even if you're level 10, you will fast travel there, shoot that guy like two times and hide in a corner. You could actually shoot the Vendigos there as well to farm some screws, but that's beside the video. You fast travel there, you shoot that asshole two times, and bam, you just wait for the others to kill it, and you got 8 treasure notes. Same deal with the Scorch Earth. You fast travel there, you shoot the Scorch Queen two times, and you wait for the others to kill it, and you got 4 treasure notes. Same thing with the Radiation Rumble, you just wait for the others to defend those settlers. Now, after you've done all of those, you want to fast travel to either the Foundation or the Crate. For example, I'll fast travel to the foundation. And here, in this machine, you could trade in those treasure notes for gold bullions. However, as you could see, there's a limit of 200 gold bullions per day. So you can't trade any more with this machine every day. You could just get 200 gold bullions from this machine and that's it. That's kind of sad because that's really not enough, you know, the prices are too expensive in this game and you need more treasure notes. So what I usually do is I fast travel to the wayward. And in here you want to make your way inside the building itself. And in here you just want to come through here, go up the stairs and talk to this guy, smiley. I'm interested, as you can see you can pay caps by gold bullion however there is no cap on this now you might think to yourself 6,000 caps for 300 gold bullions it's too fucking much I don't have that money well yes it is too much however there is a way that you could gain that easily so what I usually do is I farm legendaries which I have a video on that if you want to check that out and let me show you my own legendaries so for example I'll fast travel to Charleston station so these are all of my legendary weapons that I farmed in about two days. I only kept the best ones. So I farmed these in about two days and these are the best ones as you can see. For example, I found this yesterday. So it's a two shot auto grenade launcher. You could easily sell this to another player for 7k all the way up to 10k. Or for example, this gun that shoots an additional bullet. 
you could easily sell this for like 5 or 6k to another player. Now what I usually do is I farm legendaries then I sell them to player. However, when I'm farming legendaries, I usually find a bunch of garbage 3 star weapons. Like I find a 3 star pickaxe that is worth like 100 caps. So what I do with those? I actually won't sell them to the vendor. What I do is I trade them here. You see, it doesn't matter how much the gun itself is valued. If it's 100 caps or it's 2000, as long as it's 3 stars, you could sell it for 40 legendary scripts. So you want to sell the trash 3 stars to a legendary exchange machine. Next, you want to fast travel to your rusty pick. And when you're here, obviously, enter the place. Now in here, you want to trade with the purveyor. So you either want to buy 2 star legendary range weapon or 3 stars. It's up to you. I prefer buying 3 star legendary weapons. From my experience, you will get some really good weapons from the purveyor and there's a high chance of getting a really sick one. For example, let me buy one. So I got this. I can easily sell this for 7 or 8 thousand caps to another player. So what I'll do is I'll go, I will open up the Fallout 76 map and start texting the high level players. Tell them, hey I have some sick weapons, you wanna come check it out, or if you're on Xbox or Playstation, create a post and tell people that you have these. And you could easily make a shit ton of caps that then you could trade for gold bullion. That's what I personally do. Some people might... I mean, I don't think there's any other way really. You wanna make caps and this is by far one of the best ways of doing it. So guys, that'll be it for this video. If you enjoyed, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more content. And I will catch you on our next video.